belly in rounding back and then moving forward as far as you can go it doesn't matter and then back so you just wait so let's push back all together so it's really pretty and we move forward all together okay. all together forward and we push back so round step back a little bit push your navel in you can hold your breath out and come forward on any breath and go back, exactly together, it's nice and for the film, they push, one, two, three, move together forward, and go back, exhale, push, forward, one more time, push back, squeeze, it's fine, you should feel your spine moving, and forward, now we're going to circle, so you can check first, we're going to move the shoulders, the board is going so we can all move together so let's start all to the left hands on the knees if you can and roll to the right let's do two more to the left go low go far back it's moving your spine your belly yeah do what you can with the head and then we're going to go to the right we stay at the right and we're going to go right back and left we don't cheat, we don't hold, right? Right? 
We're going to take the hands to the heart. We're going to lift the seat. You're going to come up. Maybe you look up with your balance. If you go to the sky, you can open your palms up to receive energy from the sky. And you go down. Remember, it's yoga. So we try to feel the energy hands to the heart. Reach up. It's not just mazo easy. We open the energy. Go down slowly with your breath. We do two more hands to heart. We inhale when you come up. So take the breath whichever way you want through the nose. And exhale, squeeze in your belly and feel your thighs. Just one more, hands to the heart. Open up to the sky, receive energy from the sky, from God. And exhale, go down. Now we're going to start a bit more vigorous. Hands under the shoulders, fingers facing forward. Kabisa, up and up. That. Yes. Open a bit there. And we're just going to arch the back, look up. That's a cow and push in. That's a cow. Let's do that. Inhale, open up two more times. Move with your breath. And as you exhale, you exhale, you exhale, move with your breath. So you finish the exhale when you squeeze. You start the inhale, you move on the breath. And you exhale, you study. Now we're going to have neutral spine. So you try to center your left knee first by your strap. Then we leave the right leg back. And centering the lower leg helps to balance. And then that should come wobbly. Lift your leg. If it's easy, you're gonna lift the opposite arm. So we have the right leg up. If it's easy, left arm up. It might fall. <laughs> <laughs> and down. Well done. Keep your leg up. Knee to the chest. Squeeze. And back up, look up. Two more times. Knee to the chest. You're working your belly, but no one has a belly here. Knee. Lift up. Squeeze one more time. Little, remember that's an inhale. You move with your breath. Take your knee down. Let's take a chart. We call it balasana. You sit on your heels. One breath. That's the relaxing pose. And we do the other side. Coming up on all four behind by your strap leave the left leg up find your breath inhale you exhale you should feel relaxed try not to hold the breath and then when you can if you can you open the right arm if it falls you can readjust your lower hand press your fingertips and lift as high as you want you try to stay count your breath inhale and exhale or repeat the name of someone you love hand down same as before knee to the chest Leg up high, arch your back, gaze up and keep it. Knee in, squeeze as an exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, up and up. Just feel you're flexible, even if you're not. Knee in, squeeze. And inhale, think you're a dancer, you really open up. Knee down, sit in child, balasana. Take your few breaths, remember to breathe. You want to breathe. breathe. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come on all four. If it's hard, the hands forward, you can narrow it. We're going to lift the first leg. So remember to center your knee first. You lift the leg and if you can, bend the knee, press your right hand down and you try to hold your upper foot. Go. Concentrate within the name of someone you love. Oh, you can sing. <laughs> and you can sing. Have a song in your head to keep the balance. Sing, 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 something, we did something to keep you busy, the mind is busy, it's all in the mind, but the mind doesn't matter, we are not the mind, good, change, left leg, or the leg, center your lower one to make it easier, to show up, bend the upper knee, in your own time, you can have the right index down, or you can hold the leg, and think, here, you're definitely practicing with everyone, if the one next to you is messing up, Fall. 
there. It's a nice practice. We all have to practice together. And if someone does something else, everyone falls. <laughs> Woo, try. We're going to do downward dog and we're going to try to move up from there. It's not going to be easy. And actually, let's take the right knee forward to open your hips. Power. And you can go down to stretch. There, let's see these glutes. If you're strong, it's harder because your muscles are a bit tighter. Sawa. We come up. Take the knee back. Same thing on the other side. Easy, move it to the center. And try to walk your hands forward. You can hold on the strap if it's too hard. That's it. Take your hips. <laughs> Coming up. Now, something else. So we're going to take the right foot outside the right hand. So you can move your hand first. Take the foot there. Let's see if no one falls. Cool. You keep your hand there. You turn your back toes to the side. You try not to fall and you lift the left arm. And you can be on the fingertips. Nice, yes. So don't walk on your hands. Take your hand inside the front foot. Okay, release. Hands down. Ah, let's frame the front foot. Straighten your front leg, Kidogo. I know. A oh, fool. Nice, easy. You breathe. Some of you might be flexible, then you can slide. <laughs> Same thing, easy now. So we follow with there. The foot goes, take your left hand, Kidogo center, and take the foot outside the hand, not on the hand. Outside Kabisa, Sawa. Turn your back toes, there, it makes it a bit easier. You can point or flex. Slowly concentrate, and you lift. Yes. Slowly take it down. Now you move the hand outside and you stretch. Yes. And you can start. <laughs> if you have long legs, it's harder because the hamstring is yes, good. <laughs> okay, woo! Side. <laughs> Yes, now we're going to do the same thing, but say casual sure once maybe we're going to try a down dog. And when you're in down dog, you stay a bit, then we have to turn the back foot and you center your heel with your strap. And we're going to step the right foot, and that is very tricky. You have to concentrate and you're going to try to come up. That's it. And if you fall, I fall. <laughs> you can hold on your neighbor, take your hands forward and up. Woo, woo, woo. And take it warrior two. Woo. So if your feet are more centered, it's easier. Super. Hands down. I think we skip the other one. This is too hard. One, two, three. Come in down dog. Let's stay in down dog. You can bend your knees and move your bum up to the sky. Woo. Bum up. Woo. Yeah. Remember for the other side, you have to first center your back foot. You get the right foot, power. You look forward, you go one, two, three, and you jump for your life. <laughs> then the front knee. Go really slowly. Ah, woo. Come up. Everyone stable. Up and to the side. Stable. <laughs> Something's wrong there. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, hands down. And okay, lift back. Whoop. Take your bum up. We're just gonna stand down, dog. You okay? We're gonna lift the right leg up. So before we lift the leg, we have to center the other one. And we lift one leg up. You choose which one, doesn't matter. And you try to stay and you breathe. And you repeat someone's name. Someone is nice. Good. Or you sing. You lift this leg higher. Whoop. Okay, down. We're not doing hamstand yet. Down dog. Again, center your feet and lift the other one up. So you see, when you center, it's much easier. If it's hard, you need that. Good, good, good. Lift this upper leg. Push. Breathe. Thank you. Enjoy that. Look at this. It's so nice. 
Thank you, need by this chart. Thank you, Balasana chart. Ah. We're going to do a little back bend, which is called Isprasana. It's a camel. So when you do a camel, you think you're a camel. You're strong. And you're a bit nasty as well. So we come up. We're just going to take the hands on the hips. And you're going to go like this. It's a back bend. If you're very flexible on your back, you look up. Or That's it. Just enjoy. We're going to try one elbow dog. So it's like the down dog, except we have the elbows down. If you want, you can even hold on the strap. Boop! <laughs> no strap. And you do like the down dog. You lift your knees and you stay like this. Yes. <laughs> if you swim a lot, your shoulders yes. are going to be steady. <laughs> okay, we keep it going. more. Knees down. Ah, woo, and you're in shot. Okay, I want to try one more. We don't need that's going to work. It's okay. So we're going to be on all four. Watch first so that we all do. So then we're going to lift one hand, slide it under. It might slide on your neighbor. And then the other arm will go straight. Take your head. If that's easy, only if it's easy, you're going to center. I think I'm not going to manage to do it. Woo, you can lift the leg up. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Yes. Ah, we go back down. Go down. Ah, we do the other side. Coming up. Other side, up, slide, you can have your hand on your neighbor so that you can hold on that one, lengthen the other arm, and if you can, you lift the other leg, and just think it's for fun, it doesn't matter if it's cold, if it's perfect, just breathe, and take it down, and okay, there. Now we're going to try to set on the bum. We could jump it through, but we're not going to jump it through. We're going to take jumping through. It's a bit hard. So we're going to go now. Oh, yeah. Let's come in down, dog, and let's walk the feet towards the middle. And we're going to do a forward bend. <laughs> a little bit further behind. Okay. Bend your knees. Move the hands towards the feet. You can have your feet by the strap to keep it balanced. Just chill. toes out so we squat use the whole side of you try to be at the center so it doesn't fall Ooh, take a breath sawa if you have a strap and you sit and you wiggle your feet legs forward forward then bend your knees and if you have another strap you go further yes don't break the board <laughs> so, okay. Let's come up. We're going to do side back plank. So, we're going to stretch the front of the body. It's called Suvotanasana. We can bend the feet, so keep them open. Together, it's harder on the board. What we're going to do is the hands back, fingers back or forward. If you want easier, let's do easier. Fingers forward. And we're just going to lift that. And if you can, you look up, maybe you close your eyes and you close them in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well done. Put okay. both hands and let's go forward. Okay. So now just for fun, let's try the legs. Yes. yes. Bend the knees. Hold under the leg. Yes. I try to balance. If you can't balance, you adjust on your board. Just behind the strap is nice. There. Good. Yeah. If you want, if you can. And there, kiddo go. If it's easy, more straight. If it's easy, no hands. And we can fight. One, two, three. Hold your toes. Are you still balancing? Okay. 